What up, YouTube fan, man? I came with another video. Udi Ube came with another video. I should say. Uh, today, man, we're doing the star install on the E36. But before that, we're getting the tent redone because it has like bubbles and it was like all old and stuff. So the tent guy's about to come right now to. Oh, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Tent guy's about to come right now to retent the car. Before, because I want to get it retinted before I do my next mods of the interior after, you know, the starlight ceiling. Because I'm telling you, man, I told you I'm not playing with this interior this time around, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I'm sure you guys like how the tent looks right now. So you guys get an idea of why I'm getting it retinted. Okay, so basically when I first had got the car, it had no tint. And then it had like the factory tint, but it's like it's turning purple. So basically... You know, I was getting the hookup on the tent or whatever. Somebody was getting it done for me or whatever. So I just got another layer put over this back part. And then you got these tinted regular. But the film, it's like, it's not like the kind of film that keeps the heat out. Cause like, it gets hot as hell in here, even though it's tinted. It's weird. But then the back, same process went for the sides that, you know, you see it from the old tent. And then you got another one over. So. This time around, I'm getting, he's gonna basically, this guy's coming to basically strip all the windows and I'm gonna get them lighter so you can see more in, but like the kind of film that keeps the heat out though. I forgot what it's carbon ceramic or something like that. But stay tuned, man. I guess his first set of team is coming to remove the tent and he's gonna come and reach in it, if that makes sense. But stay tuned, man, for the stars install also. Okay, the tent guy just finished up, you know what I'm saying? No more bubbles. Or none of that good stuff. Actually, like, I don't know why his limo looks, like, darker. Darker, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, I got the sides, like, I want to say, like, 25, 35, something like that. So you can, like, still see in. Cause, like, my tears going to be clean. Perfect, you know? And then I got the back, like, a limo. It's basically, I don't know, because it's the back, I guess you could say. But, yeah. Looking pretty good, though. Thinking about getting a windshield tinted, like, the like very lightest they sell what they have to basically like, reduce some of the glare at night but as of right now I just keep the little strip that i've been having if it could my sorry i don't know if you guys seen that my sorry banner i had forgot the car wash the other day and it lifted with the air dryer and yeah i had to pull it off but it's all good though i like it though you know i still gotta clean the windows you know whatever if you guys are wondering who did it? You know what I'm saying? These guys right here. Hit them up. You know, they got good prices. And do a pretty good job. And uh, his sons, you know, are freaking uh, car enthusiasts. <laughs> yeah, hit them up. Hey, this is a before of the interior. You know, like, you know, everything's taken apart. Because got to put everything back in, you know. But as far as this part goes... If everybody's wondering like how I get this black, cause I only M3s came black or whatever. I basically use uh, the fabric dye. That's all I use. All I use was fabric dye. And basically just, you know, hit it a couple times, you know, leave the windows down, you know what I'm saying? You see how it's still gray right there, but then black. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So pretty much the interior is gonna be like the same concept as last time, but with better quality. Cause see, look. That quality, how the steering wheel suede, center console suede, dash, the glove box suede, little trimming suede. You know, basically, it's going to be like the same concept. I'm doing the same concept, but I did this in and an under pendle suede. And I think I'm going to redo the shift boot because it's bugging me that I bought that from a website. I forgot what website. And in suede, but it doesn't match the actual suede in the guard. So I'm going to find somebody that stitches and get one of those done because it's bugging me. And the e-brake boot, because it ripped. My e-brake boot ripped. But, as far as the most part. Oh, that's how the tent looks on the inside. See, like, that's like the, like, you know, the sides. It's like 20. Dang, I should ask them. 20 or 35%. Whatever it was. And then this is one more. So, basically, supposedly it's lighter than that one. The one right after that. Or before, or lighter than that. I don't remember. Have it, guys. But, that's one more. And these are lighter. <laughs> there we go. So you can be able to see it, you know. It's going to look sick, though. 
Okay, so basically what it is, it's just like little fiber optic things that go to this little box that produces the light, you know, and it changes all different type of colors and stuff. So I'm assuming we route this to the trunk and then it'll power to this. They don't get hot though, that's, that's a good thing. But as far as it goes, we're gonna poke holes, like little tiny holes, like I'm finding a needle, poke tiny little holes in there and then feed these through and then use hot glue to basically keep them on the other side, like under here, to basically see the outcome, you know, as it go along. And I'll show you guys once I get a couple poked in. All right, guys, man, Oscar just hit me up, you know what I'm saying, AKA my neighbor at Oscar.civ. Hit me up to go to car wash with him. But I run to the car wash with him. Ooh. I run to the car wash with him and tune back in when we get in the car. Basically, about to finish up the last touch of the headliner. What I have left to do is just poke a couple extra spots because I ordered a 550 kit and cause I seen a charger do it with a 500 kit and I was like, a 550 kit, you know, would be dope. You know what I'm saying? But I'm thinking at the time I was thinking since I had a sunroof, it gives me more space, but you know, it's kind of other way around because it gives me less space and my car is a coupe rather than a sedan so we're just gonna make it look like a, Rolls a real rolls royce you know all the way through from front to back all the edges and all that good stuff because i ain't i ain't i ain't leaving no strands not put into the headliner so further ado uh let me show you guys i'm gonna show you guys like how exactly how i did it Okay, so basically like how I did it is like they're like little strands, like poke a hole and then put it through, but then hot glue it on that side, you see? Just hot glue them, boom, 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 like for all of them. But like I was saying, like since there's still so many, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm like twinkling and stuff. But let me try to focus on something. One second, let me try to... You see like, I like, I just have a bunch more. You guys can't really see it in the camera because of the light, but have a good amount more. So I was thinking maybe going to like, doing like the front of the headliner, you know, all the way across or whatever. And then probably like along the front of it. Cause the visors go here, obviously. So probably like up the front also. We'll see how many I got once I finish this. Cause basically that whole section right there's already like filled in. And like, I don't want to put too many. I mean, it has a twinkle effect and all that, but I just want it to be too bright back there, you know? Well, I'm academic too, so. <sighs> yeah, I probably do. Actually, like around the edge too, you know? Because I already went around these edges. So it's like kind of like hovering, you know? Hovering you. So like it really feels like you're in space, I guess you could say. <laughs> oh, as far as the headliner goes. Oh, that's how it looks from underneath, actually. Let me show you guys. Dang, I should have showed you guys when I was inside. But see that's how it looks basically yeah and then like far as the headliner goes it's like obviously like i said before it was a luxury suede or whatever from a j&j auto fabric and then like it was so nice because it's like it's like foamy so i could just cut straight across don't worry about like the uneven cuts because it's another panel that goes over there and it'll suck over here and here so no big deal right there and then obviously the lights for the visors go there and then you know, the uh, visor, little bolts on right there. But for the most part, I like how it came out. You know what I'm saying? I like it, I like it. Okay, so basically, as I was filling the man or whatever, I got most of them filled and I still, oh my gosh, still have some stranglies. So I'm gonna try to like fill in like the center somewhere more. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. But I kind of want to use all of them. But I'd rather have more than not have enough so I can like play with them. But freaking, I just took the extra step and just basically put the tweeters inside of the headliner, like cut it out, you know what I'm saying? 
You put it inside the headliner, you know? Give it like a clean look, clean install. Cause I used to have them on the top of the windows, like, but they kept like the adhesive kept like, the adhesive them. like kept making them fall. So I was like, man, I'm gonna put them in the headliner. Like I always told myself that like, next time I do the headliner, I'm gonna put them inside, like insert them in the headliner. So it just looks like clean and flush, you know what I'm saying? So that's what's done now, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, this builds from the fire is like a, kind of like a luxury race car, you know? Keeping like all my music and all that stuff. And race car, a lot of track. You know, tracking it, but obviously I'm gonna take the sub out. You know, when we hit the track, you feel me? But for the most part, oh, it's called a street car. There we go. Street track car, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, I'm gonna finish this up and then install it to the car. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, man. It's freaking hot out here in California, man. But installed it inside of the car. I still gotta like put the car back together. You know, I know I always don't finish the car, but I just, I just get like so excited and just miss steps. But as far as it goes, ugh, it's in there, you know, and then all up here, and then the tweeters, like I told you guys before, I put them in the headliner, you know, on both sides. This thing, I recommend before you, um, Woo! Before you um cut them, like trim them, I advise you to install them in the car, then trim them inside the car. Cause I noticed like some got pushed out with the, cause the hot glue's not that strong. It's not like super glue or anything. So basically with enough pressure to pop out. But for the most part, pretty happy how it came out. Can't wait to see how it looks at night. All right guys, so this is gonna wrap it up for the end of the video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Share with your friends, you know what I'm saying? Your moms, daddies, you know, grandpas, grandmas, you know. They might want this done, you know what I'm saying? So you know how to do it. But as far as it goes, it's a wrap for this video. I'll get some uh, night shots for you guys. To see, like, show you guys how it looks at night, you know, with music. Well, freaking I don't have no freaking music hooked up in this car because I took everything out. But... I'll try to get like all the different modes and stuff that it has. I'll try to show you guys on the app. Let's put it in the garage for you guys. As a matter of fact, I ain't going to let you guys wait till nighttime. Might forget. Close the sunroof also. But yeah, that's how it turned out.